my wife and I were here visiting in the States, and uh, I remember the news was breaking in the morning as we were just getting up, so that's a few hours in already. And we were trying to piece together the news elements and trying to figure out what happened. It took uh, a few days to even get a picture of what, what was going on. You know, there's a very uh, painful feeling when your borders have been breached. Um, if your home has ever been broken into, that first time you're sleeping in it again, you just have this feeling of, of almost unrest. Um, our home was broken into. Our borders were breached. We have a feeling of unrest for a year now. How is everyone going on with their life? How is everything the same? We're not the same. Everything changed. Never be the same. One of the things that I see is that as generations get younger and younger, the story of Israel feels more distant to them. And it's almost irrelevant sometimes to people that I talk to. And when I read the Bible, I, I want to love what God loves. And I don't think God changed his mind. If he wrote it in the scriptures, it's there. So if he says Israel, it's Israel. And if he loves the Jewish people, then I'm part of that. You know, the rise of anti-Semitism in the United States should be concerning to any Bible-loving Christian. It's not easy to remember Jerusalem all the time. And I think that when we look at Jerusalem and where we're at right now, more than ever, we need prayer. And we need prayer for peace. We need prayer for uh, rest, for restoration. Uh, we need prayer for people to see God and to recognize his sovereignty.